but time is short. His body is already showing the first signs of readiness for mating. Faint colors have started to bloom on his beak's display crest. At last, he can resume his epic journey. For thousands of kilometers, he follows the coast of North America. Like all giant pterosaurs, he uses his enormous wings to ride on the warm air currents that rise over land. His whole body weighs less than 100 kilograms, and this helps him glide effortlessly over huge distances. But soon he must face open water. This is the young Atlantic. It is still only 300 kilometers wide. To reach the other side, he will need all his gliding skills to exploit the air currents that form over waves. Along the way, he must feed. But flying low brings its dangers. Hungry monsters watch him from below the waves. An entire day on the wing, and he has arrived on the most western of Europe's islands. Once again, the landscape is dominated by a huge herd of iguanodon. This time, though, it is a larger European species, up to three tons apiece. These animals are again accompanied by a spiky polacanthus. These armored herbivores are often found around iguanodon herds, presumably for mutual protection. There is safety in numbers. They are being watched by a pack of carnivorous Utahraptors. For the moment, they are biding their time. Meanwhile, another conflict is looming. <laughs> 